News in the world of Enshrouded, and oh my goodness, it's big news. Let's go. King Games making a splash today with an announcement about their upcoming roadmap. They say they've been trying to play it safe on one hand with having big ambitions and lots of ideas, but then also they're creating a brand new game and some things might be more difficult than they could anticipate. And so they want to stay keeping us interested, but not over promise. But now finally they've landed on a roadmap that is in large part based on our feedback that they get from the feature upvote. So let's jump in. All of the things they say are coming up in 2024. Hollow Hall's dungeons, that'll be interesting. Location improvements, good. The map deaths need some work. Multiple NPC instances, this is super good for if you have multiple bases or especially if you're playing on a server and everybody wants the NPC at their base. More trees to grow, good, more variety. Replayable world quests. This is super important for community servers. Keen originally had this idea that, you know, up to six people would be playing the game together and progressing through together at the same time, but that's just not how people play a lot of times, especially when you're playing with people in different time zones. And so this is good. You're going to be able to have individual quests that you can still go through. Even if it's been done on the server, it will show up in your individual quest log. Townsfolk NPCs, nice. This is gonna make the world seem so much more full. Looks like they have some designs mapped out here already. Farmers and, what is that, a cowboy maybe? And townsfolk pets. So yeah, so it looks like you will be able to adopt that cute little bunny. Mountains biome. We had a feeling this is going to be the next one because we run into the gates right there at the edge of the map right now. Multiplayer pings. Thank goodness. That is such a huge difference. It's so hard to be like over there by the thing up beside. Nice. That's a good one. Steam Deck support so you can play on the go. Now I know some people are going to say why is it coming to Steam Deck before consoles? I'm thinking it's easier to get it on Steam Deck because it's a Steam game. Plus, with consoles, there's a lot more rules and restrictions that they require before you can get a game there. It's a longer process. Improved loot UI. A lot of people have requested this, obviously. People have requested all of these. So, I don't know if this means being able to, like, vacuum up everything around you without having to click on each individual piece of resin. Or if it's more about picking up things after you kill a mob and not having to click in their carcass to be able to get it. On the sample picture, they're showing spores and cloth. So that makes me think that we'll be able to pick up the items from mobs off the ground instead of having to go into their body first. Reassignable glider shortcut. I didn't request this one. What do y'all think of it? What's the issue there? Round doors and windows. All the builders say, yay. Here come those hobbit houses and hobbit villages. Better quest sorting. Helpful for organization, of course. Vanity system. This one is interesting to me. They don't really explain what this means, but does this mean we're getting armor stands? What do you think that means, vanity system? I've been keeping some cool armors just in case we get to a point that we can display them. If that's what it is, I hope we can also display weapons and shields because, hello, we need more deco. And there's some really cool looking stuff. We should be able to show it off. Animal farming. Yes, that'll make it easier. I particularly want a chicken farm. Those suckers are fast. Portals to other servers. This is interesting. I wonder if this is going to be similar to Nightingale, like where you have an address card that you can give to a friend and they can portal directly to your server. Are they going to be doing this just like with friend codes through Steam? I'm curious to find out more. What do y'all think would be the best way to do this? I'm not sure. But it's a really cool idea. I love going to visit friends and their worlds. Named tombstones. Thank goodness. So confusing on servers when multiple people die. Performance improvements. Of course, they always got to put that in there and hopefully always do it. Workshops craft from magic chests. I don't know how I feel about this one, honestly. I can see the convenience of it, but... Can I designate what chest it's crafting from? Because I don't want it just pulling all of my stuff and processing it if I don't want it processed. I'm hoping they have a really good system with some options for how to do that, or it could end up being a disaster. Sitting on furniture, yay! 
And like they even show us a little picture. It's true. It's true. How many times I've wanted to sit on a chair and I can't. They're getting this feature added in way faster than No Man's Sky did. I'm just saying it took them way too long. <laughs> It's a little thing, but it matters. Potted plants, beautiful. Probably more for deco than for function, but deco matters. That's part of what we really love about this game. Server gameplay settings. So we don't know exactly what these server gameplay settings will be yet exactly, of course. I'm gonna assume one of them has to do with the tasks being able to be set in the journal from individual to server level. Are we looking at some difficulty level settings? Are we looking at a creative mode? All the builders, I'm talking to you. When they did that building contest, they did put out the creative map because they didn't want builders to have to grind for those things just for the contest. So of course, I'm always liking when they're giving us more options and control. Editable signs, yay, hallelujah. I mean, it's nice to be able to see the first few things in a chest, but it's not the same as having signs for organization. Plus road signs, you know, it goes on. Enemy patrols, okay, big question mark here. What do you mean by enemy patrols? Where are they gonna be patrolling? Are they gonna be patrolling outside of their areas? Are they gonna be wandering throughout the world more? Are they gonna be coming and trying to attack my base? This is one of the big questions that's happening right now because there are some people that wanna have base raids and there are a lot of people that do not want to have base raids, like adamantly. So if this is leading to some kind of base raid event, I think that up here in server gameplay settings or individual gameplay settings somewhere, they need to have an option to turn that off. Lots of people love the raids like in Valheim and I think Conan. Lots of people do not at all. And one of the things they love about Enshrouded specifically is that they don't have to deal with that. They wanna be at peace when they're at home. So I'm very curious and I'm gonna be looking into seeing what else I can find out about this. Nameable bases, yay. Whether you're playing solo or on a server with friends, that is super helpful. I've been putting an icon next to my home base to make it easier to find on the map. But that's like a basic thing they should have on the map. So I'm glad they're doing that. New enemies and bosses, as would be expected. Be curious to see what they are, what they have in store for us. More optimization, smoother, high FPS gameplay, always a plus. Better stack splitting, yay, doesn't always have to be 50-50 now. Improved post-processing, more optimization is good. New building materials, double yay. This is a cool building material right here with the red and green. I don't know how many building materials we're gonna end up with at, by the end of this, but I'm loving that there's gonna be a huge variety. Server user rights. I'm not 100% what they mean by this. Maybe this is allowing certain people to be like an admin on your server to make changes for it. Look at this, musical instruments. <laughs> That's awesome. This is gonna bring so many things to life. Wouldn't it be cool if some of the NBCs played them too? There's gonna be whole concerts happening. Festivals in villages, I see it now. Weather system is coming. Will it just be an appearance or will it have debuff effects on you? I think it makes sense that they would be putting this in now because next we're going to the mountains and we already know in the mountains that you can get cold and slow from the snow. And so they've already ha got some of this in the works. I just hope it doesn't rain too often. Nameable map locations, thank goodness. There are not enough icons right now to mark what I wanna mark on the map. If I wanna put, oh, there's 10 here or whatever there. And fixes and polishing, of course. And that's not all. You're wondering, when is this update happening? And the answer is this month. Now, I wanna give a word of caution. They say an update is coming this month. I don't think that all of these things are gonna be coming this month. I think that would be a bit unrealistic. This is the roadmap for 2024. And this says this is for the next few updates. So don't think we're gonna be getting all of this in the next two weeks. And there's more. <laughs> Here's a glimpse at some other major features coming up later this year. Sharing and visiting of bases. So that's gonna tie in somehow with that portal system that they're implementing and maybe server rights. Instanced dungeons. I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't have this already. That's a pretty cool or creepy looking launch pad to get into one though. Create and share gameplay experiences. 
So this could be for build files, for world files, which you can share now. I have a video about to come out on that, but it's not the easiest process. This sounds like they're gonna implement it into being an easy part of the system, which would be fabulous. More biomes, we don't know how many. World events, I gotta say, are they talking about in the game world or in the real world? Because they just had a building contest in the real world. It could go either way. And yes, water, much requested. I'm gonna guess fishing will be added in there too. So no, this roadmap doesn't give specific dates of when things are gonna be done. It doesn't tell you exactly what order things are gonna be done in. And I think that's really smart. Companies have gotten into a bunch of nonsense turmoil about putting out specific dates and then they don't meet them because stuff happens and people can lose their minds. And so I don't blame them and I think it's smart. Giving a general guideline of this is what we're working on and we're aiming at this time frame is good enough for me. And Shrouded will be on sale for the Steam Spring Sale from March 14th to 21st. If you want to check it out or bring a friend along, subscribe for more Enshrouded. Until next time, happy gaming.